Hi, I'm Stefan Bloodworth, curator of the Bloomquist Garden of Native Plants here at the Sarah P. Duke Gardens. And I'm going to be talking to you briefly here about some of the plants we're going to have for sale in the Bloomquist collection at the Duke Gardens plant sale this weekend. Um, the one right in front of me here, this is Celandine poppy, Siloferum diphylum. And here you can see the um, kind of traditional poppy flower. This is in the poppy family. Very attractive. Um, uh, four petal yellow flower and then at the same time you can also see the seed pods uh, beneath which are also very attractive um, this is about the stature that the uh, celandine poppy uh, gets to about two feet two and a half feet um, very nice uh, interesting uh, dissected dark green leaves with very attractive white um, tomentose or hairy undersides um, this is an, an excellent naturalizing wildflower for the woodland garden. And right next to it, we have one of its uh, typical woodland neighbors. This is bloodroot, um, Sanguinaria canadensis. And bloodroot is a very early bloomer, so this plant bloomed about a month ago, a month and a half ago. Um, but you can see these very, very interesting lobed leaves of the bloodroot here in this collection here. And um, uh, bloodroot has a, a very attractive um, uh, flower that some people might uh, say looked or resembled the, a Shasta daisy. Um, uh, another very nice naturalizing woodland wildflower uh, gives you some bang for your buck because you can buy two or three of them and in four or five years you'll have seven or eight of them. Um, and then right next to it we have another very excellent naturalizing woodland wildflower. This is the leaf of the mayapple. Podophyllum peltatum. And um, uh, may apples um, have a very, very interesting uh, uh, quality to their leaves, um, very much like uh, kind of pie plate shaped, in general, uh, little umbrella, little green umbrellas. Um, and uh, may apples are also naturalizing wildflowers, so they will spread by roots and form a small colony. And then underneath, this one, this one in particular, does not have a flower because it's a, it's a bit of a younger plant. But typically you would have um, a creamy yellow-white yellow, yellow -white flower hanging beneath the leaves. And then after that flower matured, you would have what we call the mayapple, which is about a crabapple-sized fruit, um, uh, thus the name mayapple. So all three of these plants, the bloodroot, the celandine poppy, and the mayapple, will all be available, among others, at the, in the Bloomquist collection at the Duke Gardens plant sale. And um, uh, we look forward to seeing you out there. Thank you.